Hello and welcome back to Hardware Info. In this video, I will be guiding you through the process of setting up your TCL phone. Let's begin. So, we can start with simply choosing a language. Of course, you do have a plenty of lists to languages to choose from, though I'm going to stick with a normal English. Also, if you need to, you can also set up some different vision settings. For example, the select to speak or talkback if you have any issues with your vision. But once again, I'm going to just skip it. So, let's hit start. We do need to agree to privacy policy. However, we do not have to join the user experience improvement program since basically this means that they will gather your data. So that's a skip from me. And we also have a little bit, a little bit more information about parental controls that if your child will be using this device, you can log into the Google account to activate parental controls. So basically what the TCL is telling you is that they do not have built-in functions for that. You can use Google things. Now we have connect to mobile network. I'm going to skip this just because I don't have a SIM card on me right now. But if you do, you can always watch other tutorial on our channel on how to input your SIM card. Now you want to connect to your Wi-Fi. I will choose this network since this is my network. And of course you want to choose your own network. And then you want to simply input your password to that network. And after you have done that, you can simply hit connect. And now we are connected. Now we need to wait for a little bit moment since now the Google takes place. And in any moment now we should be able to log in into our Google account. So for now I will simply pause the recording. As you can see we don't have a Google account just yet, but we do have ability to copy apps and data from our older account which is an incredibly important feature and if you do have some older device that you're moving from, I would strongly advise you to just do it now because otherwise you would have to use some sort of third-party application to copy apps and your data. But I do not have this other device, so I would go with don't copy. But once again, I would strongly advise you to go with that. Now our uh, our system is checking information, I guess, about my system. But I believe that now we should see the login. Yep, the sign in for Google account. So let's simply type in our Google account name. And as a little fun fact, you don't really have to manually type in gmail.com every time since Google will do that automatically for you. As you can see, right here it's working without any issues and now you want to simply input your password as well and let's simply hit next and we are good to go now if you do not own a google account you can just create one it's free and to be honest i can't really imagine anyone using internet without using google account let's be honest here now here we have the ability to set up parental controls like we said before and if you want to, you can use my child will be using this device, but then you would have to go for the process of setting a family link, and it's just, nah, I'm not a fan of it. I will hit next, since many people will just, there will be using their device. So, yeah. And also we have to agree to terms of service and play, play terms of service and the privacy policy, otherwise we won't be able to add the account. So let's agree to them, of course, without reading them, because who would ever read those stuff? And after any moment that we'll be able to continue with our setting up journey. And now as you can see, we have the ability to set time automatically or set it manually. I know, I probably guess you can't really see that. Uh, I will try to fix that. Okay, I have lowered the saturation a little bit slightly. So now you should see uh, the date that is automatically, or we could disable it and set it manually, which I don't really see the point of since it actually displays the correct date, which is pretty good. So I will simply hit next. Now we can set up our fingerprint for an easier access to our phone. I will skip that part because it's not necessary for the setup and we do have tons of tutorials on how to add your fingerprint, which is pretty good. And the same things can be said about 
adding your biometrics as a face. We could also potentially skip the pin, but I do think that fundamentally pin is a very basic thing that everyone should have. However, we can also go to screen lock options, and as you can see, we can, with that, switch to a password or, for example, pattern. And I'm going to go with pattern because I think it's pretty convenient and pretty fast. So I will go with a very simple L shape now. I will redo the L shape to confirm the password. And as you can see, we have now the ability to activate the Google services. Now the very first one is user location, then allow scanning, and lastly send usage and diagnostic data. So personally, I would advise you to just disable send usage and diagnostic data and keep the, these two on. Technically, you could also disable allow scanning, but since that would, I guess, save a little bit of your battery, but I don't think if you can enable that later, probably you can, but by generally speaking, I tend to leave that on. And I wouldn't really advise you to disable the location since you never know when something unfortunate happens. Maybe you will lose your phone, and in case of lose, lose it to your phone, then having the ability to just find it using find my device with Google is pretty convenient way to, you know, find your device. So I will also advise you to just keep it on. And let's continue. Now we have backup or device. I can't really stress it enough, but having a backup is incredibly important. If you do not have it, then I'm really surprised because you are not prepared for the day, as I said before, something unfortunate happens. Maybe you not only lose your phone, maybe you can just break it, maybe it will freeze to death and you won't be able to get to the data that is inside of it. And in that case, I would strongly advise you to turn on the backup. Of course, you could leave other device data. As you could see, we had the ability to choose... Oh, let's get rid of that. Let's go back to here. We had the ability to... Oh, I cannot go back now. That's funny. Uh, we had the ability to choose between only videos and images or other app or other phone data. If you want to, you can choose both or only apps or only videos and images. It's completely up to you. Anyway, later on, we have the ability to choose our browser and search engine. I will go with the Firefox, since that's pretty good, and with Brave, since that's also pretty good. Now we have the ability to continue setup, or we can just ignore that and continue setting up later, but because this is a full tutorial, I will just go with continue. Now this is the nearby uh, final contacts finding. We could potentially go, I agree, but I will go with no thanks, because this will also basically keep trying to detect things around you and it will waste your battery, so I will ignore that. Now we have Meet Gemini, our personal AI assistant. I will go with continue, but I won't really go with the Hey Google since it can be pretty annoying. And now we have the ability to quickly set up Google Pay. I'm going to skip that because usually I tend to do it in the first things to do after setup video which I will record right now, and if you are interested, you can always search it up, because in here I will basically show you everything you want to do to further set up your phone, like go with your apps and set up everything you else you need. Let's hit no thanks. And as you can see, we are now getting our phone ready. And also we can choose home screen style. I will leave the drawer screen, since the drawer tends to be pretty uh, handy. And also I will leave with gesture navigation, since I pretty like gesture navigation. But of course, if you want to, you can always switch these settings differently. And we simply hit finish. And we are good to go. We can now use our device. As you can see, it only took 10 minutes. Oh, we also have to restart, okay. It only took 10 minutes, and as you can see, it's not that hard. But anyway, that's all, oh, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.